Hi, my name is Dr. Nina Lester, and we're going to be talking about my Terra Labs new mushroom grow kit. Let's talk about Max Yield's new V2 tapered bin. You're going to love this design. It's not your usual monotub lid at all. As you can see, it is sloped. So any condensation that would usually come to the top of the lid and fall down onto mushrooms is completely gone. Now the condensation will run down the sides of the bin and away from your mushrooms, allowing for the perfect grow, the perfect humidity, everything you need for a set and forget style of growing. As you can see, the air holes have been changed too. So the air holes used to be on the outsides with the original lid. They've been pushed inwards so that you have more circulation through your bin. And if you look down here, you can see the tiny little holes at the bottom. Now, as your mushrooms grow bigger, they're going to need airflow down underneath the canopy of the mushrooms. So we've got these little holes over here to draw air into the bin, circulate it up and out. Perfect. We've included 3M micropore tape. And the reason we did this instead of using filters is because when we use filters, we've been getting a lot of contamination. Whereas with this micropore tape, it holds moisture within the bin while allowing for enough airflow to get your mushrooms growing, but reducing the amount of contamination that you might get inside of your grow. Inside your bin, you're going to find my Terra Labs new M- substrate. This is a manureless and vegan blend and works absolutely well in the max yolk bins and allows a set and forget style of growing. One thing that I really love about this substrate is that no matter when you open it up, it will be perfectly hydrated. And water is one of the things that your mushrooms need to grow as big as they possibly can. The other thing that is inside of this bin is my Terra Labs organic rye berries. We searched for berries that have a smaller grain size that allow for a faster colonization time. So you can expect about two weeks colonization time on these grains. They'll be perfectly hydrated and they'll be perfectly cooked. The bin liner is amazing for cleanup. We've included this bin liner because once you're done with your grow, you can simply throw it out, give it a clean and use it again. As soon as the bin liner becomes a little bit worn down, you can get a new one and off you go again.